Tony Papa from Pro Media Gear, here to show you some of our core accessories for the Ellen Chrome ELB 400 Power Pack, as well as the head. Let's get started. First, we manufacture a custom cage. This cage has everything you need from quarter 20 ports to 5.8 stud, and I've included on here the accessory that is cable management system that you can buy afterwards. It snaps on quite easily, pops right on top of the rubber, hooks on using these two little adapters, and installs within seconds. Our adapters allow you to still use the strap with carabiners to hook on right here that came with your kit. But now by adding the cage, you have the ability to add quarter 20 accessories and utilize the handle as well as the cable management system. Once you're done connecting the cage with the accessories onto your pack, it gives you a lot of opportunities to put on something like this ball accessory. Our holster, the SH-1, is super convenient to be able to carry your pack and get right out there in the field. It's also easy to take off and mount in other places by laying it on the ground or using some of our other clamp systems that we have that are great on light stands and tripods. As you can see, we have two opportunities for clamps that'll go on anything from a 42 millimeter to a 19 millimeter surface. This one, the BLS-1, is designed with the drop-in for the holster sphere. Opens up easily, goes around light stands and tripod legs. You just mount it on there, and tighten it down. That's it. Now this one is going to give you the opportunity to take the sphere here and go directly from my holster to a light stand. Now it doesn't lock in, it just sits in that dish. And now you're able to plug in your light and have it off the ground away from moisture and elements and not worry about dangling that strap that comes with it right on top of one of these um, knobs here. It's just a much more easy way. When you're ready, you can go ahead, pop it right back down onto my holster, take the light off, and put it on other accessories, such as a boomerang flash bracket, which I'll show you in a second. Another opportunity for a rigid mount is the BLS-2. Now this one, say you're more of a running gun, you want to just be able to grab that light stand and go, and you don't want to risk dropping the pack at all or knocking it off. This attaches in the same manner, It's going to fit light stands or tripods between 42 millimeters in diameter to 19 millimeters. Once that's on there, go ahead and take this one off. You're going to have the opportunity to utilize the quarter 20 on the front, mount it right onto the light stand. Now, once it's installed, it's a nice rigid mount. This thing's not going anywhere. What this is perfect for is the photographer that wants to just pick it up and walk. Senior portraits, anything outside where you're away from your power, you're using this light as your power supply, you're just going to be able to grab it and go. You can also put it on a monopole, leave it down, use it as a weight, and use it more of a lollipop with the light on the end, the counterweight at the bottom, and not worry about dropping the pack on the ground or wearing a cumbersome pack over your shoulder. When you're ready, you can just unscrew it and take it off. Then reinsert any other accessories you want. Put the ball back on, my sphere. Also, there's another quarter 20 on this side, which you could utilize too, is by not using your cable management system, you could put a sphere over here, a rigid mount on one side, have the best of both worlds. But the cable management system, what it's going to allow me to do is when I'm wearing the pack, rather than having a big drape of cord, I can go ahead and wrap the light cable around here and just keep it from bulking up on me. That way it's out of my way, it's not a tripping hazard. Now, the reason I bring that up is because the Ellen Chrome system works great on our boomerang flash bracket. The Boomerang Flash Bracket is an event wedding videographer, wedding photographer's dream 
that's going to allow me to quickly go from a horizontal position into a vertical shooting position and back, very simply. To go ahead and put an Allen Chrome light on here, all I need is a 5.8 stud. We manufacture a BLSA. The BLSA is this short adapter here. This short adapter is all you need to go ahead and mount onto there and get shooting. By pairing that up with this cage, I'm a one-man show with a ton of power that can just get shooting. We also manufacture a rosette, the BLS-1. The rosette's going to give me the opportunity as a rigid mount with teeth to be able to screw on top, you can quickly mount the rosette on top of the 5 8 adapter, allowing me to pivot it back a little bit, spring loaded, get it where you want it. It's going to bring the weight back of the light. Let me show you. Mount the light on here, and then pivot the light forward. By creating this Z look here, what you're doing is putting the center of gravity over the center of your camera and putting more of that weight on your forearms rather than your fingertips. It's going to give you a great tip and a big asset in those long shoots. Not only do you look professional, you're getting a ton of power, the softest, nicest fill light, and just the balance and high quality that you want for your event. Now by having this on my pack, I'm able to have that cable management system working. I've got the weight off on my hip, it's very comfortable. And you just look like a million bucks. Now an additional accessory, if you look like you're going to go ahead and use a light modifier, such as a small softbox, what you're going to want to do is substitute the BLSA for a taller brother, the BLSA 5A. This is a 5 inch adapter, it's going to go on there. Get it up a little taller, work with your smaller accessories. All right, we're almost complete. As I've shown, the quadra head, the boomerang, and our pack work great together. But let me actually go ahead and install that cable so you can get a true look at what I'm talking about. So, once I install the cable here, it's really easy. Then you've got this cable. You're gonna wanna go ahead and put it in your power port. Now I'm left with this additional cable. I'm not the tallest guy in the world, I'll admit it. And as I'm sitting here, the cable's pretty much at my feet. What the cable management system is gonna allow me to do is go ahead, leave yourself some slack, but then you're just gonna be able to come in here and just wrap around a few times around that system. The little ears here. There's no right or wrong way, figure eight, around it, whatever works for you. What that's going to allow me to do is just have a nice short drape of cable, which it's not going to block me when I'm shooting, but it's not going to go below my knee either and create any kind of tripping hazard for me. So now you're able to just put it around there, shoot, you can put the cable around this arm, whatever's comfortable for you, out of the way, but then still utilize the pack and its pull capabilities and not trip. Safety is our number one concern. For more information, visit ProMediaGear.com, pick up the boomerang, some accessories, and the cage today.